A city of cars transformed for a day to one long street walk. The movement that's kept Thailand's government on the ropes for more than two months went one step further today, blocking off some of Bangkok's busiest roads. Well, they've certainly got the numbers today. They are well organized, and they have pretty much shut down the city center. Now, the authorities have had time to prepare for this, but the protest leaders say they're going to keep this going until Prime Minister Ying Luck is forced from power. That could be many more days, and if they can carry out that threat, that will really pile the pressure on the government. The mounting cost of this paralysis to Bangkok's economy and the country's reputation isn't yet a concern for these would-be revolutionaries. I think it's good for the people in the Thailand, because the government now is no good. The big corruption and everything. Not good for the people and the children in the future. But can they keep going? After so many weeks, there were some signs of weariness. Mm, not so long time because I cannot stand with the sun, you know. It's really hot. So actually we came uh, in the morning, yeah, and maybe just half day, just relax and maybe come back again on evening. But it won't be the picnicking protesters who decide how this ends. It will be their leaders, the government, and Thailand's ultimate kingmakers, the military, which spent the weekend entertaining the city's children, but may in the end move in to break the deadlock. In the process, breaking yet another experiment in Thai-style democracy. Jonathan Head, BBC News, Bangkok.